In this video, we're going to do a different type of webhook. We're going to do one for labels. And I created a test one. I need to get rid of that. So just remember, if you ever need to delete a webhook, you can do that. It'll be gone forever, though. So make sure that's what you want to do. And uh, just like in the last video, and I'm going to go through this really fast because I went through it slow and in detail the last video. So if you haven't watched that yet, that would be a better place to start. We're going to create a zap or create whatever, you know, whatever you happen to be in, whatever software you're using to create webhooks. Select webhooks. Remember, we do catch hook. Again, if you haven't watched the last video, do it. Custom webhook URL, we need to copy. We go back to Genius Messenger and we're going to create a webhook. Click webhooks, click create webhooks. Let's call this one labels because that's what we're doing. We're going to work in labels and we're going to paste that webhook. And there it is. Now, if you remember also from last time, if we test this, there's no data yet. Okay, now all the labels webhook gives, all, all this particular area that I'm going to show you gives is uh, the name, first name, last name, and the label that they have. So this is a little bit more limited than the contact info. And the next one I do with notifications will be a lot more information. So if we go to Genius Messenger and we go into Messages and then Labels from there, um, You'll see here it says select webhook. So I can select, let's do it for this GMCRM partners. I'm going to collect, I'm going to select the labels info. Now I could select contact info, okay? And it will send, you know, to that, that zap, but it's not going to collect all the info that we want. Um, this particular area here, I'll show you what data uh, this one captures. So now what happens is anytime a new person is added into this label, it's going to fire off this zap, okay? Because that's the one that the labels catch hook is connected to, the labels. That's why I always name them the same. So let's go back and tag somebody. Whoops, um, he was already in there. Let's send, let's put this person in there. I have to remember to take them out. And uh, he actually doesn't belong there. And um, that was what I used to test. Now if we do a test, we added a green one. There it is. Okay, we have the first name, last name, profile image, uh, messenger URL uh, for that conversation and label name and that's all the information that we have now what can you do with that um, uh, you know I don't know maybe you just want a list of the leads that you collected that day uh, maybe you just want a list of um, you know who are hot leads who are cold leads who are warm leads you can send that off to different areas um, maybe you just want to send this off to a Google sheet right so um, you know you could send this information to a, a Google Doc a Google sheet calendar. Uh, I'm not going to go through this zap, but with that, you could say, you know, let's create, um, you know, a new spreadsheet. Maybe you have a spreadsheet just for these labels and you want to create a new row with this contact information in there. You have to create, you know, you have to, to connect this to an account and then to a sheet and then um, some other information. Uh, I'm not going to get in. This is not a Zapier tutorial, but that's how you catch, catch that data and then do what you want with it. So um, a little bit more limited than the contact one. And then in the next video, I'll show you the notifications one, which is actually much more in depth.